Here in Houston, no-knock warrants, like the one in Breonna Taylor's case, must be approved by the police chief or a district judge, but the Citizens Independent Review Board wants to go a step further. Channel 2's Kathy Hernandez live in Midtown with what else they're demanding. Kathy, good morning. Well, good morning to you. Organizers say that independent investigative, investigative board compromising of citizens would actually create transparency, must need a transparency between the community and Houston Police Department. It is a central tenet that they will hide misconduct and even illegalities by police officers. Shelby Stewart, a civil rights activist and retired HPD sergeant, created the model. The board would review and investigate internal police investigations of possible misconduct by police officers and make the final decision on discipline. It would be able to subpoena documents, interview witnesses, suspects, and police officers. The board would be com comprised of community members from multiple organizations and law schools at TSU and U of H. Community leaders say it's necessary, especially now. We need the mayor, the chief, to be open and transparent to what happened with the Tuttles. We are all Brionas and the Tuttles in America today. It could happen to anyone in this country. I'm trying not to be emotional, because I cry for America. I cry for our community, and I cry for our children. And I did reach out to the mayor's office. We received a response just minutes ago. He has been busy in meetings, but a spokesperson for his office has said that they would refer to the executive order from June and that he has appointed a policing reforms task force that is just about to send him recommendations. Of course, we'll continue to follow this developing story, bring you more on what happened here at 4 o'clock. Reporting live in Midtown, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Kathy, appreciate it. Thanks so much.